My name is Arman Ghosh and I'm a student at the University of Waterloo studying computer engineering. This is a two part video series. This is part one in which I'm going to talk about my courses in term 1A of my Waterloo engineering degree. I had a total of seven courses. I'm going to rank them from the hardest to the least difficult in my opinion. For sure, the most difficult course in term 1A of computer engineering was EC 105, that is classical mechanics. Honestly, this course felt a bit pointless for computer engineers like us, content wise, but it definitely helps build problem solving skills. It's all about Newton's laws, circular motion, energy and waves. Weekly quizzes and tutorials helped me get through this course. It's all variables, no real world applications at all. But hey, strong foundational knowledge is never a bad thing. Next up, EC150, Fundamentals of Programming. But let me tell you, it's way more than just the fundamentals. We dove deep into C++, which is super important for engineers and firmware development. We covered everything from language syntax, functions, classes, arrays, lists, sorting, searching algorithms, and pointers. The major assessment components in this course were four projects and a midterm and final. Basically, even if you thought you knew programming, you'll have to put in a lot of effort in this course. Moving on to Math 115, Linear Algebra for Engineering. This course is pretty abstract and will require a lot of practice problem solving. We tackled complex numbers, vectors, matrices, linear transformations, determinants, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and even the Gram-Schmidt algorithm. Weekly quizzes and tutorials were a constant challenge, but they really helped strengthen our understanding. Then there's Math 117, Calculus 1 for Engineering. This course felt like a breeze compared to the other courses. Think grade 12 calculus, but on steroids. We covered different types of functions, limits, differentiation, and integration just the basic calculus. There were weekly quizzes like Math 115, but these were pretty straightforward. EC 198, Project Studio. This was one of the most interesting courses. Everyone had to work on an STM32 microcontroller project along with a classmate, which required high self-motivation since we only saw the professor for this course like a total of three times during the entire term. This course was all about the engineering design process and project management. Next is ENGL 192 or COMST 192, which is communication in the engineering profession. This course was super helpful. It covered oral and written communication in contexts relevant to engineering and honestly, it's a must have skill. Compared to other courses in the first term, this course had smaller class sizes, like around 25 in each class, and half the cohort was divided into ENGL 192 and the other half was put into COMS 192. These both are kind of the same, but they had some differences which came out during the assessment components. Lastly is EC 190, Engineering Profession and Practice. This course was learning how to behave and act as engineers, ethics, and understanding our roles and responsibilities in society. We had in-class group activities, which actually had more weightage than the midterm and final marks combined. Also, I almost forgot, this is the only course in which we were allowed to get a cheat sheet for the midterm and the finals. Okay, so that's a wrap on my 1A courses. Please let me know down in the comments if you'd like me to create a GitHub repository with all the resources I have for all these courses. Doing well on your courses is important, but hey, don't forget to enjoy as well. I played football intramurals every week. I went out almost every weekend. I watched an unhealthy number of movies. I also joined student design teams and many clubs as well. Stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be about my courses in 1B. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.